Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be more of a chilled, laid back type of video and it gives me very much old school YouTube type of vibes. It's going to be a what's in my school bag video. I used to watch these videos quite a lot and I love watching them because I was so newsy. My school bag, it's a North Face Jester backpack and I find North Face backpacks really good quality. They are a little bit more pricey, they're around like the £50, £60 mark but they are really good like quality bags so I enjoy them a lot. I do want to put out there that I've been in college for about two weeks now. It is a little bit messy in here but I didn't want to clean it out just because I want to be more realistic and authentic with what's actually in my backpack on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's start off with the side pocket. So normally the side pockets are for like water bottles. What I tend to keep in here are wrappers and rubbish which I am going to throw out. Um, <laughs> I can be quite lazy sometimes and if I'm like quite far away from a bin I will just stuff the rubbish back in my backpack and just throw it out when I'm near a bin. That's kind of been accumulating for about a week now. Definitely going to throw those in the bin now. I promise I'm not lazy all the time. Well, most of the time I'm not lazy. Now onto the front pocket. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually like dividers in here and like little sub pockets and stuff. I'm just gonna show you like the big mess first. I have a couple of receipts. I have a bus ticket. I also have a receipt from Hotbox and it cost £10.70, but do you know what? It was worth it. It was definitely worth the £10.70. Next thing I have are just some earphones. I love listening to music. I don't know what I would do without music. I love listening to music on the way to the bus stop, on the bus. Whenever I'm bored, I'll listen to music. Most people nowadays have like wireless earphones or AirPods or AirPod Pros. I don't. I still stick to my wires because they still work perfectly fine. I have those with me. Next thing I have is just a portable charger and the cable to go with it. Basically, I am a little bit more further away from home and in case my phone dies and I'm in the middle of an emergency, then I have obviously the option to charge it up and, you know, not be stuck in an emergency. Um, but yeah, I have those with me. The thing I have are just some tissues and some hand sanitizer, especially with COVID. I do tend to carry these around with me. Obviously, lockdown is easing, restrictions are easing. There's a lot more viruses going around, so it's very good to have these with me. I have this paracetamol. This is great for cramps or headaches or have like a cold. These are just a lifesaver to have. Next thing I have is the Impulse True Love Body Fragrance. I don't like smelling. Like, I need to smell nice. Like, if I stink, then I stress out. I tend to carry like a couple body sprays around with me. I do love the scent of this, however, I find that the scent wears off quite easily, so I tend to go through a lot of these like bottles. I probably should invest in like a better quality like body spray, but I really like the scent, so it's just gonna have to do. I have my purse in here, and it just has like a couple change, a couple cards, nothing too spectacular. The next thing I have is my house key. I don't know if you can see, but there's loads of little like pockets and zipper pockets, which I don't have anything in, but there is a little Velcro pocket at the back where I have a couple of things in there. All these like napkins, which I got from McDonald's. I had, I think I had Mackey's breakfast the other day. It gave me loads of napkins. And I didn't want to chuck them out because it'd be wasteful. And I knew that they wouldn't take them back. So I just put them in my bag in case I need them. Last thing in the little back section are just some face masks. I always carry spares with me in case I break one or I lose one or I forgot mine. I always have spares and backups just in case. Everything in the little front section. And now onto what's in the actual main compartment of the bag. <laughs> The first thing I have is my water bottle. This is from Primark and it comes with a little straw. I don't know if it's just me, it probably is, but I find that having a straw in a water bottle makes drinking water a lot more easier. If I had like a normal water bottle, I just find I have no coordination and sometimes the water will like literally pass my mouth and go down my top. So the straw does help, so I have that. I also have my planner. It's been really useful so far, just planning when I have like, homework I need to do, when they need to be handed in, assessments and tests that I need to do, when to revise, stuff like that. So I find this really, really helpful. Then I have this little pouch, which I would call like my little, kind of like emergency pouch. It just has little bits and bobs in here. In a pack of paracetamol, because you can never have enough of it. I also have this little, rose perfume like i said i hate stinking like i just have again another spray with me another pack of tissues again another spare hand sanitizer you can never have enough i have a mirror as well 
some lip balms. The last thing I have are just some fresh mint Tic Tacs. Personally, gum is not for me. I just find consistency, the texture is really gross in my opinion. So I normally stick to like mint Tic Tacs or just mints in general. I have mints with me. It's kind of like my little essential pouch, I guess. The next thing I have is my pencil case, which you already have seen if you watch my school supplies video. Oh, my favorite highlighters by far, they're the Stablo pastel highlighters. Really, really nice. Also, really like the colorful Bic pens. They're really, really good for like revision and writing like keywords and keynotes and stuff. I also gotta love my Link Maxi Fine pens. These are the best pens in my opinion. They just have a really nice like thin pen nib. So I find that my handwriting is a lot more nicer and smoother. So I do recommend these pens. They're very handy to have. And the last thing in my backpack is my day folder. Like, I don't bring three massive ring binders around with me wherever I go. There's one, it's too much of a hassle just changing out each folder each day. And two, they're gonna be really heavy and I'm gonna have a really bad back. So I just carry one little day folder and I just have obviously my little notepad with like the papers and stuff in here. A section for law and then I just put stuff for law and for business and sociology. Like there is definitely room for improvement in terms of how I organize this, but so far it's doing okay. It's more like neat and compact as well, so which I do appreciate. But yeah, that is my day folder and kind of what I use to write and work with. It's literally everything in my school bag, which honestly I thought could be a lot worse. But I feel like maybe during the rest of the year, it's gonna get a lot worse in terms of rubbish. But so far, it's not too bad. But yeah, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications. I post every Tuesday at 6 p.m. BST, and I really appreciate it if you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.